Welcome to energy things to think about over the weekend. This time I'm actually want to focus on three days that are, are, are going to be changing the oil and gas sector. The first day is the 4th of November. The Iran sanctions are coming and the US and it's, it's going hard to impose these sanctions and even going against its uh, Western partners or, or the G7 and really pushing the market and we already could see the oil and gas sector have already accepted that sanction, have already prepared for that sanction and, and we could see the export level although there's some debates and doubts about those export levels of Iran but they are going down. So the big question after the 4th of November what's going to happen to the oil markets? What are the traders will be doing? How is that the, the dynamics of supply and demand? We saw the recent interview of, uh, of, his, of the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman talking about we have already supplied the market or replaced the Iranian crude in the oil and, oil and gas markets. So what's going to happen after the 4th of November? A lot of players are waiting to see. We saw the Indians are looking for some kind of exemptions in recent weeks. What's, what's going to happen? The second key date for me is the 31st of December or the end of the year. What's the, what's the oil price going to look like uh, at that time? Is oil prices will still at 80 or reach $100 as recent uh, analysts have predicted in Epic in Singapore over the last few weeks? Are we going to go back to the $100, $100 oil? Are we going to see economies, especially the producing uh, 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 Gulf economies and, and the region in, in general, gonna go back to the spending spree building major projects or is that or is that something what we call more temporary or more short term this the spike in oil prices that's another day that we're gonna that I'm gonna look after this uh, this uh, this this year the next important day for 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 the oil and gas market is the 1st of January in 2020 the IMO we have seen co companies or ports authorities everyone have started to to kind of start preparing for IMO 2020. We saw S&P Global Platts launching an assessment. Argus have launched an assessment for IMO 2020. Uh, shipping companies have started to really uh, strategize around it. We see ExxonMobil, uh, some of the major refineries in the world, announcing their strategy for IMO 2020. So that's a day that's going to have a huge uh, impact on the oil and gas sector. That's something I'm going to be think thinking about over the weekend. Don't forget to follow us, like my video, give us your comments, I will get back to you. Join the GI uh, platform. Thank you.